just love you, just loves you. Um, I had a professor at Covenant College, uh, Dr. Krabendam, Dr. Henry Krabendam, who I really respect. And uh, when he shared the gospel, he usually shared it. Well, first I wanted to say, like, uh, before that, my dad and I share the same uh, thoughts that of the severity of hell, like a, a literal lake of fire and sulfur, lake of fire, uh, dark darkness, weeping, gnashing of teeth, their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. And uh, so hell is really serious and uh, you you only live a little little while and then you spend billions and billions and infinite years in either heaven or hell. So Dr. Krabendam uh, shared, the way he shares the gospel is that we all have three problems, like we're born with three problems. And if we want, we can make use of God's three solutions. You you have to. Like, you, if you don't make use of God's solution, which is Jesus, then you go to the lake of fire. But uh, the three problems we have is we have a cobra, and this is in the Bible. Like, he, he knows it better than I do, but uh, we have a cobra heart, like a rebellious cobra heart. Like, the our innermost self is evil and wants to do evil. And then we have like a toilet past. Our past is like a toilet from the stuff we've done. And then our life is like a jail cell. Like we have to do, you know, sin and Satan and the world and whatever. So like our life is like a jail cell. And God provides three solutions. Um, it, the new covenant, Ezekiel 36, uh, I'll walk, uh, Jesus says, I'll wash you of your filth. I'll wash you of your filth. I'll take out your stone heart and give you a heart of flesh. And I'll give you the Holy Spirit and write my laws on your heart. So the Holy Spirit. So he, he cleanses you of your toilet past. He gets rid of your cobra stone heart, rebellious heart, and gives you a heart with his laws written on it. And then he gives you himself, the Holy Spirit. It is the spirit of Jesus. It is Jesus. Comes to connect, connect with your spirit. And, uh, so now your, your past is washed clean. If you, you have to give your life to Jesus, like full allegiance to Jesus, knowing that you need him, you're a sinner bound for hell. He paid for your sins on the cross and you have to give your life to Jesus as your King and your best friend. So when you give your life to Jesus, uh, he washes you of your past filth. He gives you a heart that wants to follow him with his laws written on it. And the Holy Spirit to help you carry it out and to lead and guide you and comfort you and help you. So uh, anyways, yeah. So you ask God for the three solutions. And you ask God, you see, if you, you'll find me, Jesus said, you'll find me when you seek me, when you seek for me with all your heart. So heaven or hell is on the line. Your life and the life of those around you depend on if you find God and he, Jesus is alive and well, his Holy Spirit is everywhere. So you can find Jesus through his Holy Spirit. Like, and uh, you probably felt the Holy Spirit in worship songs, or if you've ever shared your testimony or read the Bible, like sometimes you can feel the Holy Spirit and you feel that you need something, you need Jesus. And I tried to give my life to Jesus several times. I prayed the sinner's prayer a bunch. But when I finally said I could feel the Holy Spirit, knew I would go to hell without him because of my sin, and I knew I needed Jesus. It's not just his payment on the cross. His payment on the cross made it possible, but you also need Jesus himself, the person. The Holy Spirit is Jesus. Jesus is the Holy Spirit. I don't know how, I don't, I don't get it exactly how it works, but all I know is I felt the Holy Spirit and I said, Jesus, from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. And walked forward to the front of the church, and I knew I was saved. It was like I gave Jesus my heart and life and proved it to everyone by walking to the front. And uh, and I was saved. And I got the three solutions. So, love Jesus, love Jesus.